Hello guys, I hope you are feeling completely well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Arash and I'm here to teach you French language in English. Guys, if you like my videos, please put the like on the videos and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it will make me really happy to continue. Follow the lessons, stay with me and start learning French language to be perfect. Let's get started. As you already know, we are in the book uh, Grammar on Dialogue. It's a grammar book, pure grammar book with rules. <laughs> and uh, this is the page 18. Uh, I finished this. Yes, I finished this text and now I'm going through the uh, second one. It's a really short, it will be a really short video and uh, I will finish it very soon. Uh, the, the title is Où est-ce que tu vas? You know guys, the, uh, this word comes from the infinitive, this verb comes from the infinitive aller. Guys, it's really really important to hack uh, this conjugate, the conjugation of this verb in your mind. Je vais, tu va, il va, elle va, on va, as a review. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, on va. Nous allons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Où est-ce que tu vas? Where are you going? Où est-ce que tu vas? Where are you going? It's a conversation between Madame Rousseau et Bastien. C'est une, une conversation entre Madame Rousseau, Madame Rousseau et Bastien. Madame Rousseau says, Bastien, où est-ce que tu vas? Bastien, it's a name. Où est-ce que tu vas? Where are you going? Bastien says, Je vais chez Jérôme. Je vais chez Jérôme. Guys, what does it mean, chez? Whenever it's, it's, a, it's a preposition, and when you uh, use this, this preposition, it means that to somebody, mm -hmm, or to the house of somebody. For example, when I say Je vais chez Jérôme, Je vais chez Jérôme, it means that I I am going to Jérôme or I am going to Jérôme's house. It's the same. Or sometimes you say Chez moi. Chez moi. Means, for example, you say Je vais chez moi. I am going to my house. I am going home. Or, or for example, sorry, chez vous. Chez vous means into your house or to your house. Okay. So, est-ce que vous, est-ce que vous, est-ce que vous allez chez vous? Are you going home? Are you going to your house? Je vais chez. Or sometimes you you use it with. Uh, some carriers, for example, chez le dentiste. Chez le, chez le dentiste. Dentiste. Chez le, chez le dentiste. It means that to the dentist. Chez le coiffeur, to the hairdresser. Chez le, chez le médecin, to the doctor. It is the same. So you now you know she the different utilizations of she. Je vais she and don't forget that it's a preposition. Je vais chez Jérôme. Ah bon? Ah bon? Whenever you see, guys, whenever a uh, francophone say uh, ah bon, it means that it's a kind of uh, exclamation. Okay, ah bon? Exclamation sign. Ah bon? Really? Ah bon? It doesn't mean really, uh, literally, but uh, it has the meaning of the, the exclamation sign, okay? Ah bon? Et pourquoi est-ce que tu vas chez Jérôme? Pourquoi? Pourquoi means why? Pourquoi means why? Hmm. Why? Why are you going to? Jérôme. Pour travailler, uh -huh, this is 
pour as a preposition and after that infinitive. Pour travailler la géographie. Pour travailler la, ge la géographie means that for working geography, for studying geography. Son père est prof de géo. Prof de géo means professeur de géographie. Here it is written as a remark. La remarque de vocabulaire, un prof de géo, style familier, it's a familiar, familiar style, uh, and it means that un professeur de géographie, as I said to you. So, son père est prof de géo. It means that his father is, a geog is the professor of geography, geography teacher. What professor means a teacher at university, guys? When you want to uh, a teacher for a school, when you, when you want to use the teacher for a school, it means enseignant, enseignant, and for feminine, enseignant, enseignant, enseignant. This is a teacher at a school, a school teacher. Enseignant, enseignant, enseignante. What professor is a teacher at university? Ah bon? Exact. Again, ah bon? C'est bien. It's good. C'est bien means it's well. It's good. Tu nous reviens à, in future, uh, in next levels. You will understand what's the difference between c'est bien and c'est bon. It's now it's soon to uh, describe it, to explain it. C'est bien. It's good. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's good. It's well. Tu ne reviens pas trop tard, hein? It means that revenir. It comes from the verb revenir. I told you in the previous video revenir. Revenir means to come back. So. Tu ne reviens pas trop tard. Tard means late. Trop tard means very, very late. Guys, when you say très tard, très tard means very late. But, but, trop. The, the last letter is not pronounced. Trop. Trop tard means very, very late. Tu ne, trop, tu ne reviens pas trop tard, hein? You don't come back or you will not come back very, very late. Mais non, non. Mais doesn't have any meaning here. Mais non, non. Uh, je reviens pour dîner. It means that I will come for dinner or I come for dinner. I will come for dinner. Guys, sometimes you say that. Um, so sometimes you see that uh, the sentence is written in a present simple form au présent but we have to translate it in english in future or in the con in present continuous form so this is the difference between the languages okay uh, for example it says je reviens pour dîner but in english we say that i will come back for dinner so in english language we use um, a future form of the verb uh, but here it is written the sentence is written in in the present simple form so this is the difference between uh, languages and uh, I want to tell you don't compare French language with English language uh, okay you can compare the words you can vocabularies it's really easy for you to learn the vocabularies when you have a good level in english language but it's really difficult but even if, if you want to compare the grammar uh, french grammar with english grammar it will be really difficult for you because there are some things here in french language that uh, don't exist in english and vice versa that's why it will make you in a really bad misery so don't do this at all not at all just uh, learn the french grammar with uh, french rules um, and don't compare it with any other languages but you can compare the 
vocabularies with English language, it's really it will be really easy for you to uh, keep them in your mind. Have a good time. Till next video, next lesson. Stay with me. Subscribe the channel. Be healthy and fine. Bye bye.